<laughs> All right. So this is order of operations. Um, pretty easy. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, right? You guys remember this. Now remember that adding and subtracting are really kind of the same thing, and multiplication and division are also the same thing. So for those two, we always go left to right. Okay, so you can subtract before you add. Uh, you just go left to right. So when I say the absolute value of j um, plus 9 times k minus j, wherever there's a j, I'm going to plug in a 1. Wherever there's a k, I'm going to plug in a negative 1. Now you could actually do this on your graphing calculators, but what's the absolute value of one? One. Um, now remember, we should do the multiplication first. So what's nine times negative one? Negative nine. <coughs> and then this is the same as negative one times one, so you just put a negative one here. Now for adding and subtracting, uh, it's commutative, so it doesn't really matter, but we're going to go left to right. So what is 1 minus 9? Negative 8, right? And then we're going to drop our little negative 1 down here. So what's negative 8 minus 1? Negative 9. Easy peasy. Now, when I say you could do this in your graphing calculator... Uh, and I am going to pass out the graphing calculators if you guys want to use them. You can literally enter it in exactly how you see it, except you're going to plug in the values uh, for the letters, right? So what I mean by that is, er, let me slide this over here like this. Let me move this over here. I can literally remember this, math, choose absolute value, right? Except instead of plugging in J, I could just put in, wait, yeah, hold on a second. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did. J is positive 1, and then plus 9, and then in parentheses I'm going to put K, but K is negative 1, right? Um, minus whatever J is, which is just, I'll put it in parentheses, 1. When I hit enter... Well, bam with the bacon sizzle. See how I did that? So you could do it that way too. You just when you're when you're substituting in numbers, just put them in parentheses. That helps the calculator keep track of what you're doing. So I'll put that on there too. That's how you would enter it into the calculator. Okay? Any questions on that? So that's example number one or 